country queen. Wow. Let's just start by clapping for ourselves. Yeah. We are heading in the right direction. Did you know that this is the first original Netflix film in Kenya? Mm -hmm. It premiered in 15th July. This is the right direction. I love the actors in this series. Not the usual faces that you see on TV. And they took the story to another level. I mean, everyone understood the assignment. You know the actors are doing a good job when you already start reacting to the characters' words. I love everything about this series. I don't want to spoil it for you. I hope I haven't given out much details about the film. Vaguely, it's about how an invasive mining company threatening the existence of the main character, Akisa's village. Let's start with the cast. We have lead Melissa Kiplagat, Nini Washira, Blessing Lungaho, Melvin Olusa, Raymond Ofula, Robert Angego, Mumbi Kaigua, Maino Lwenga. Like I said, I love everything about this film, but I'm failing to understand why Melissa's character, Akisa, is seeing a married man. There was a kissing scene where Akisa is kissing her love interest and then her PA runs by calling Akisa, 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 who's currently kissing, Akisa. <laughs> Moving on. In the beginning, she called it quits and was like, yes, honey, it is of better, we're quitting Bela's pair. Then the dude is like, let's fight for Earth. Fight for what? Why is there a place in all this? Thinking about her character, Rashina Lee, I'm just failing to understand because I was raised right. I'm smart. I am independent. I have my own business. Why? Why would I be with a married man? I don't know. I don't know. Why would I? Okay, yes, I can understand. I'm having a difficult relationship with my father. Things are not good at home. I've not been home for a while. Probably I'm looking. I miss that soft side of a father figure, but I've maybe expected to be with somebody who's a little bit supportive, who's a little bit around maybe all the time, probably like okay, if to add the dynamic of the, the story, I'd say probably this person is also struggling and maybe I broke out before him and we are struggling to keep things together but he's always there, he's always present, he's always at home. But at the same time, her love interest is never around because he's always on husband duty when I need him. Why am I, what is he giving me that I can't already get, you know, you know? You know, I just expected a little bit, you know, I'm a little bit of a Kisses fan, but maybe that's that part, that part only. It's just, uh, I just can't connect. It's not giving me the full circle. I'm looking forward to seeing her love story unfold further in the next season. I'm quite curious how the writers are going to do it. Next we have Nini Washira, who played Mrs. Sibala. Loved her stares and glistering calves. I mean, how else would you know that she's arrived without a proper introduction to her legs? Blessing Lungaho played Max. As the series continued to unfold, I understood why he was doing what he was doing in the dark. I understood why he was doubling. He was double doubling in them sheets. He was really trying so hard to be the guy. But who is Vivian Sibala? She doesn't give a hoot. She wants you to just be perfect. Don't give me half assed. I want perfect. The guy was just trying to. No, we are not going to justify his choices. He's just a character. He's just a character. We're not going. We're not going there. I also loved how Mumbi Kaigwa, who played Esther, Akisa's mom, played the role. She embodied that role. Her tone, her calmness, did a great job. I also loved the actress who played Salome, Akisa's aunt. She also did a good job. Everyone did a good job. Maina Olwenga was also in the film. You would know Maina from Nairobi Half-Life. May his soul rest in peace. Unfortunately, he died from a heart-related condition i don't know if season two has already been shot yet but the person who's going to fill up his shoes is going to have i don't know is going to have a hard time again i don't want to reveal too much as a kenyan 
It's incomparable to what you've seen in your TV screens. I'll give Country Queen four stars. It's really good. This series without doubt achieves its own goals. The slow intro might make you feel like the narration would drag, but trust me, it's very fast paced. I like how everything is happening at the same time. It does not give my brain a chance to start making predictions. Money was put to good use here. I love the locations, the editing. I love the not so sharp, soft look throughout the film. The audio was smooth. Everything was well thought out, which helped elevate the film to a whole different level. Support Kenyan films. Go watch it. It's definitely worth the hype. Till next time, stick around.